Namaste. Welcome back to tutorial series on Superpower Design for Beginners. In this tutorial, uh, let us see how to simulate the combination of equipment that is one is batch uh, mixer and other one is uh, custom mixer. Uh, let us explore what are the uh, characteristics of the custom mixer option available in the Superpro Designer. So I have taken this example problem uh, from the book Bioprocess Engineering Principles authored by Pauline M. Duran and I have given the chapter details also that is chapter 4 example 4.4 and which is available in uh, page number 98. And the problem statement is as follows. Corn strip liquor contains 2.5% inward sugars, 50% water and the rest can be considered as solids. Beet molasses contains 50% sucrose, 1% inward sugar and 18% water. The remainder is solids. Mixing tank contains 125 kg of corn strip liquor and 45 kg of molasses. Water is then added to pro produce a dilute sugar mixture containing 2% that is weight by weight invert sugars. Uh, first thing we need to identify how much uh, water is required to obtain the required concentration of invert sugar. What is the mass composition of sucrose in the final mixture. So here he says that mixing tank. So we can use a mixing tank also. In the super pro we have other option called as mixing strings. That is, uh, go to unit procedure and you can go to mixing. You can notice there is something called as 2A mixer. And in the same uh, uh, menu, you can notice there is something called as custom mixer. Let us explore these options. First step is let us register the pure components. Go to task, select pure components and register. So we'll see what are the components available in the database which we can directly register. So among them, sucrose is available in the database. I'll just register sucrose. And rest all are not available like invert sugar and solids are not available uh, in the database. So we need to register them as a new component. So and uh, we need to add all the physical chemical properties not necessary because we are going to simulate it in mass basis. So I am not going to convert this mass into moles or some other unit. So I will just go with uh, mass balance. So th that is sufficient. We ju just register them as a new component and we assign the water properties to it. So I will register. Um, invert sugars S. Yes. Then click OK with the default water properties, and I'll register one more component as solids. Solids. I click OK. So now all the required components have registered. That is invert sugar, water, solids, and sucrose. Click OK. So we'll gen generate the process flow sheet. So first, let us go to unit procedure. Select the mixing operation bulk mixing two stream mixing because I have two streams to mix. I'll just select two streams. Click this particular in stream operations. I'll add the streams to this particular uh, procedure and one output stream. So I'll re rename this as corn steep liquor. Corn steep liquor and this particular stream as beet molasses beet molasses click ok so now i'll initiate this particular stream so what is this corn strip liquor contains is telling 125 kg of corn strip liquor is charged so i'll just change mass flow rate to 125 kg and is not telling per hour basis or something so i'll just go with a batch so per batch how much it is 125 kg and what are the ingredients in corn strip uh, liquor that is uh, invert sugar and water and he is telling rest solids rest solids how much invert sugar is there it is 2.5 percent and water is 50 percent and remaining is solids that is nothing but 47.5 percent is solids and you can notice once i update it is automatically the flow rate is also uh, updated for individual components and rest all we go with the default values click ok and also we initiate the beet molasses stream so what it contains beet molasses it contains uh, sucrose it contains invert sugar it contains water it contains solids so now its composition is given the sucrose is 50 percent and you can notice water is 18 percent water is 18 percent and invert sugar is one percent and uh, if you add and subtract uh, with hundred it becomes 31 percent so it is totally 100 percent and flow rate given is 
45 kg is mixed per batch. So rest all we go with default values, click OK. Now we have registered the pure components, we initiated the stream. So we need to mix it. So as I already told, this is the continuous operation. Just open this one once and just we all go with all the default values, click OK. And you can also notice one more thing. Here, this is zero. The operating throughput per unit is zero. It will update post simulation. OK. And click simulate. So you can notice ended successfully, mass balance ended successfully. And if you click open and operations, you can notice what is the flow rate. It is telling 170 kg per hour is uh, flowing through this mixer. And if you could notice this particular output, and if you want to know the composition, so it is so invert sugar is 2.1%, solids is 43%, sucrose is 13%, and water is 14.52, like a mass percent. But what he is asking us to do is he wanted the output uh, stream containing 2% invert sugar. But in this case, it is not 2% invert sugar, it is 2.109% invert sugar. To set this particular concentration or to obtain this particular concentration, we need to dilute it. Means we need to add uh, extra water so that that concentration will get reduced. Now it is con the concentration is high as per the simulation result. So we need to dilute it. To dilute, we cannot just add water directly. I don't know how much water we need to add to change this particular 2.1029 to 2 percent. So, um, I, uh, either I need to calculate manually and I don't need to add it, but SuperPro has one uh, uh, option or one procedure called as custom mixer. I will go to this unit procedure, I'll go to mixing and in the bulk mixing, there is an option called as custom mixer. So, I will add this custom mixer here, I will add this custom mixer and we need to connect it. I will just delete this uh, particular stream and we don't know what is this particular custom mixer input and output. You just right click and go to help. You can, you can notice here, uh, there are two input streams are available and one output stream is available and here this is called process stream. In this case, the stream which we need to dilute becomes the process stream and adjustable inlet means we can add water, water could be used to dilute this particular stream to obtain the desired concentration of invert sugar. I hope you understood. Yeah, for all the equipments, you can just uh, click on the help menu, you can notice what is the input and output. So, go back to software. So, now this is adjustable stream and uh, this is the process stream. Even if you place a cursor automatically it shows there. So, I will just connect it now. This uh, output of this mixing stream is connected to this particular process stream and I need to add one more water stream, one more water stream. I will just rename this. I will just rename this as water, water and uh, just yes. And we need one more output stream, one more output stream. So I'll rename this particular stream as product. Click OK. So now we initiate the mixing stream. This particular custom mixer, we need to initiate it. So first before that, we need to initiate this particular uh, water stream. So when you click on this water stream, you can notice that we have an option to add the component that is water is the component and one more thing you can notice you no need to set the flow rate because it is it is showing auto adjust indicate that software will automatically calculate the required amount of water to dilute this particular invert sugar so that is the reason you don't have an option to change it uh, that is the reason it is selected auto adjust so click ok click ok and again we need to initiate the operation as again this is a continuous uh, operation or continuous uh, procedure click ok and you can notice this you can notice this there is an option to select uh, there are multiple uh, parameters you can notice there is an option where do we need to set the 2% invert sugar you can notice here there is an option here so it is called as set the output composition for what which one so first we need to select this option it enables here automatically you notice all these get uh, deactivated this set output composition for which one I need to have a composition for invert sugar and what is the concentration you require or what composition is required. There are multiple options is available for example concentration, mole percent, mass percent. In this case it is given mass percent. I will select the mass percent and percentage symbol is available and there are other units are also available for example 
mass fraction ppm ppb i'll go with mass percent i need two mass percent two mass percent rest all i go with the default values click ok and simulate it click ok simulate it ended uh, balances successfully and if you could notice this particular product stream now invert sugar is 2% and sucrose concentration is 12.5 in the output stream and he is also asked how much water is required to dilute the stream if you double click on this and you can notice 8.75 kg of water is required to dilute output stream obtained from this particular mixer to get 2% invert sugars so i hope you understood how to use a two way mixer as well as custom mixer to obtain the desired concentration of the products you can also check uh, the calculations or the solution which is available in the textbook to compare the results obtained from the super pro designer thank you